Not a single video on YouTube about Omelette Arcade gives a decent explanation on how to use the app and how to actually handle your video and your audio while streaming with the app, so I thought it was about time that I made a video about it. What's up everyone, the Video Nerd here and welcome back to the channel. I stream every Monday, Wednesday and sometimes Friday on Twitch. So if you want to join me on stream, then you can go to this link right here and I will also put it in the description. Go give me a follow so you can catch the stream when I'm live. And if you have any questions during this video or you want to talk about streaming in general or connect with people who are also trying to grow a stream, I will link my Discord in the description and there are a lot of people in there who will be happy to help you. I will also add timestamps right here on the screen so you can skip to any part you want. And if the YouTube function is working, the playhead bar will also be divided into certain parts so you can easily skip to them. Of course, the first step when using Omelette Arcade is actually downloading the app. So I will do everything on my iPad right here so you can just follow along. I will put it right here on the screen. So yeah, let's just go to the App Store and then let's download the app. So it's already opened from before, but just search for Omelette Arcade. And then right here, this is the app. We will download it right now. We will click on this icon and then it will start downloading. So once the download is finished, let's just click on open and that will open the explanation. And right here, we immediately get prompted to make an account. So let's just click on create account and let's create a new account together. User ID, I will name this TVN from the Video Nerd tutorial. There we go. TVN tutorial, create account. And then when it's finished loading, we will be prompted with a few games to select that we like, but you can just skip this and then you get another notification. Of course, this is something I want to say. This app is really pushy. It's a good app. That's not a problem. It works perfectly, but they really try to drag you into their app, make you spend points, etc., give you push notifications, all those things. You can ignore them all because we just want to live stream. So let's click on maybe later to not get push notifications. See, then there's another pop-up. Like I said, training missions. They also make you level inside of the app. I just ignore all that stuff. If you want to get into it, of course, you really can. You can stream on this platform natively instead of streaming on Twitch using this app. So when you stream on this platform, you can accumulate points, etc. I will just skip this too. And then we can immediately start setting up our live stream. So on the bottom, click on the plus icon and then choose go live. By the way, you can also record with it, but I will show that later. If you want to record, go to this timestamp in the video. So let's click on go live right now. And then we get another notification, but this is a useful one because we have to enable recording for our device. So let's click on the home button, then go to the settings. Then on the left, click on control center and then click on customize controls. And now the top bar will be the controls that you have when you slide down on the top right of your screen. Or I think on the iPhone, it's from the bottom to the top, I'm not sure, but these controls right here on the bottom, including the recording button that you see right here, you can add them in these settings, but as you see, I already added it, but on the bottom you will find screen recording and then just like I do with the alarm, when I click on the plus icon, it appears right here on top. You have to do the same for screen recording. So let's delete alarm right now, remove. So this is all set up. Now let's go back to Omelet Arcade. And we can just click on got it at the bottom because we know how to do it. If you can't find these settings, maybe it's because of an update or something. So then just slide to the right and they will tell you in steps how you need to find these settings. So that's also very useful. Let's click on got it at the bottom. And then we get another pop-up. These pop-ups in the beginning are annoying, but some of them are useful. So just read everything that comes on your screen and skip the useless parts. But what's this right here? Ready for your best live stream? Invite your friends. We don't want to invite any friends. So let's enable don't ask me again and then click on continue. And then right here, you need to connect your live streaming platform. So if you want to stream on Mob Crush on the app right here, then you don't need to do anything because it's already enabled right here on the top, as you see. But if you want to stream to Facebook, YouTube or Twitch, then you will need to link your accounts right here. And I will link a Twitch account because I will set this up to stream to another platform because that's what most people will be doing. So let's click on login with Twitch and then I will get prompted to enter my credentials. So I'll do that real quick. So I've connected my Twitch account right now. So let's click on next 
and that will bring us to the streaming settings and these are the most important ones. First I have to choose my game and I will just search for Summoner's War. I don't play any mobile games but this is one that I know that I have installed so then it will appear right here on top. If you ever want to switch the game that you're streaming, your previous game will be right here on the top, but you can just click on the drop down and then you can choose another game by searching for it. So just so you know. Then under that describe your stream, here you want to just give a title to your screen. And I believe that this is the actual title that's coming on the stream in Twitch. So let's just change this to something that fits. Okay, I gave it a name and then under that stream settings, this is very important. Let's click on the settings icon on the right of that and there we will click on quality and this is important. So here you can see a bunch of different screen resolutions and this is the quality in which you will be streaming your game. And this does not depend on your mobile device, but it depends on your internet speed, your internet connection. But on the top you can click on speed test, so let's just click on that. It will test your internet speed and it will tell you which of these resolutions you can comfortably streaming without lagging or anything. And as you see it says that I can stream in any connection because I'm connected to my Wi-Fi and it's pretty strong. But of course if you're connected to a phone network that's slow or your Wi-Fi is slow, then maybe you will not be able to select all these resolutions. So just pick one that you can stream in. And something that's important to note right here, if you select 1080p, it will be with a watermark from Omelette Arcade because you need the premium version, the premium membership. It's a monthly membership. You need this to stream in 1080p. Let's click on it and they will probably prompt us with something to buy it or they don't doesn't matter we will not streaming 1080p because a watermark is really unprofessional so let's click on 720p if the 720p resolution has a green dot in front of it i really advise you to take that one so let's just click somewhere else on the screen to close this and then under that orientation here you can choose if you want to stream in portrait mode or in landscape mode and of course most games will be streamed in landscape mode but there are some exceptions so let's choose whatever fits for you i will keep it at landscape then push notifications here you can choose if you want to get push notifications while actually streaming while being live and i really advise you to turn them off because otherwise while streaming you will get notifications from facebook or twitter or I don't know what else you have installed on your phone. This is really disturbing, so let's just click on do not disturb. And this is also what's enabled by default. Then on the right, UDP mode. This is something that's in beta. It will make your stream more stable, but you need the plus membership. And now when we click on it, it will actually prompt us to buy it. And it's actually eight and a half euros, so probably almost ten dollars per month. We will obviously not buy this. This is not necessary. Let's just go back and then let's also enable save to device because what this will do is whenever we're streaming it will also save the game so the gameplay so our stream on our mobile device so afterwards we can get it to the computer and we can edit it and make some clips out of it so that's really nice so let's just enable save to device and then we need to give Omelette Arcade access to photos and videos so it can actually save it on our device so it has the permissions and i will click on the cross icon and then go to the advanced settings so let's click on the cog icon next to the advanced settings and you cannot change these settings but i wanted to show you so you can only change these settings when you're streaming to omelette arcade natively inside the app not if you're streaming to twitch or youtube or facebook etc so let's just close the advanced settings and then the next thing is stream delay this is something that some of you might want to use and with this you can add a delay to your stream so if we select five minutes right here then the thing that people will be seeing online so our stream will be five minutes later compared to when we were filming it now this is used in a lot of scenarios but with mobile streaming not many of those are applicable one scenario where i can see this being useful is for example when you're streaming to twitch you can obviously not say the n-word or the f-slur or something else that's offensive so if you accidentally say something offensive which can happen then you can immediately shut down your stream and since we have a delay of five minutes people will never see the thing that we said that was offensive because when i say something offensive right now and i have a five minute delay 
then the thing that I'm saying right now will only be shown in five minutes online on my stream. So this can be something that you want to use. But of course, if you have a delay of five minutes and you ask your viewers what they did today, then you will only get answers in five minutes because they are seeing it much later. So it's really hard to interact with your chat when doing this. So that's why not many people are using a delay. But of course, you can if you want. So let's remove the delay right now. We don't want to use it. So let's click none right here. And then on the top right, we see overlays. Let's enable it and it will immediately bring us to the editor. And right here, you can choose an overlay to use on your stream. I don't want to use an overlay. I just want to show you how to broadcast your game and only your game. But if you want to use an overlay right here, there are some options and a lot of them are actually free. So let's go back. Let's disable the overlay. And then next watermark. This is not useful. We can add a watermark like your logo always on the screen, but you need Omelette Arcade Plus for this. And I think it's pretty stupid. So let's just skip this. And then shield mode image. If you're streaming and someone enters the room and starts talking to you, you can enter shield mode and that will completely like shut down your stream without going offline. So people will not hear your microphone. They will not see your game or your camera or anything. So this is kind of a pause button. While you're doing this, it's a very ugly screen that's being shown. If you have shield mode with Omelette Arcade Plus, then you will see something pretty. But we do not have Omelette Arcade Plus and I do not intend on buying it. So let's just click on done right here at the bottom. And then they give us a reminder to keep our personal information safe while streaming. This is normal, so let's click on got it. And then it will bring us to the next screen. Another pop-up that's pretty useful. They tell us how we have to stream and I will actually show you how you have to do it. Let's click on got it. And then right here, we can click on start to start streaming. But another option is going to the menu we went to before. On the iPad, it's going to the top right of the screen and then just scrolling down. I don't know what it is on the iPhone, probably from the bottom to the top again. I'm not sure, but right here you can see the recording button. And as you can see, it's enabled, it's active because I'm recording my screen right now. So I cannot go live right now, but let's just keep pressing it. And that will show us a menu, right? And right here you will see Omelette Arcade. And then you can just click on Omelette Arcade and you will be able to start streaming. But let's go back and right here, let's click on start to start screaming. So now I want to explain something important right here on the bottom. You see microphone on. If you click on it, you turn off your microphone for the stream. If you click on it again, you turn it on again. But this is very important because if you enable your microphone, then your game sound will not be recorded. If you disable your microphone, then all the sound that's going on on your iPad or your iPhone will be recorded. So because of that, it's a bit tricky to handle your audio while streaming. And in general, there are three ways which I will list right here in which you can actually handle your audio while streaming. And I will go over all of them. So the first way is if you're just using the built-in microphone on your device for streaming. So if you do that, what actually happens? Well, when I click on start and I enable my microphone and now I would go live, my microphone right here on the bottom would be picking up every sound. So when I enable my microphone without connecting these earphones, then the microphone of my iPad will be picking up all sounds. But since we're gaming and since the speakers of our device are producing sound, that sound will also be picked up by the microphone because it's playing out loud because it's not being played in like these ears. So because of this, your viewers will hear all sounds. I mean, they will hear your voice because your microphone is picking it up and they will also hear your game sound and for example, Spotify on your device because it's playing out loud in your room and it's also being picked up by your device. This seems like it's the perfect solution, but it isn't because when you're using the built-in microphone, every time you tap your screen or you move your hands on your device, or if you like tap your desk with your device, that will be very loud for the viewers and it will be really disturbing because the built-in microphone picks up everything. And when the device like vibrates or things like that, that's very loud for the viewers. It's really annoying. So you really don't want to do this. So what is the better option is using earphones. And when using earphones, there are two options. You can have earphones that have like this microphone attached to it. That's like hanging right here 
when you put them on or you can also use earphones that have no microphone attached to it. So let me go over both options. When you have earphones with a microphone attached to it, according to me, that's the best option and let me tell you why. So let's connect this to our device. So when these are connected to my device and my microphone is turned on, what will happen? The sound that your device is producing, so your Spotify and your game, right? That will only be going to your ears when you put them in your ear like this. Only you will hear the sound, your stream will not be hearing it because your microphone is enabled and only your microphone sound will be sent to the stream. So because of that, what you will be hearing is your game and your music and what the stream will be hearing is whatever is picked up by this microphone right here, so only your voice. But as you can probably already see, I did something. <laughs> and this is a little trick and this makes this the best option to stream. So let me put down my iPad. So right here, as you can see, I'm not sure if you can see it really clearly, but I taped one of the earphones to this microphone right here. So because of this, what happens? Our stream is only hearing this microphone, right? But the device is sending the game sound and the music to my ears. So also to this earbud right here. And since this earbud is taped to my microphone, the viewers will also hear everything that's playing on my device. And since this is a normal microphone, when it's hanging right here and I'm talking, also my voice will be picked up. So because of this, Viewers will not hear weird tapping sounds when you tap on your device because the inbuilt microphone is not being used, it's this microphone. So they will not be annoyed by any tapping sounds and they will also hear your game, your music because this earphone is connected to it and they will also hear your voice because the microphone is just hanging here. This is the perfect solution. And because I'm talking about it, if you want to play music on stream, it's really easy. You actually just go to Spotify on your device. So let's go to Spotify. You actually just play a song. I can hear it in my ears right now. So this song will be picked up by this microphone because the earbud is taped to it. So viewers will hear the song. And when I go in game right now, as you see right now I'm in game, the music keeps playing. So now viewers will hear your music, they will hear the game and they will hear your voice. Perfect. Let's turn off this music. Okay, it's turned off. So then the last option is when you're using earphones, but there's not a microphone that's connected to it. And this is really unfortunate because if this is the case, your only real option is disabling the microphone and just streaming your game sound and your music to the stream without speaking. Because we will have the same problem as before. If you don't have a microphone connected to your earbuds, your inbuilt microphone will be used and this will be very harsh for the stream. So let's summarize the three options. The first option was not connecting any earbuds. If you're doing this, I would suggest turning off the mic and then your viewers will hear your game and your music, but not your voice. You can also connect your earbuds, like let's connect it, man, I'm recording. Okay, <laughs> let's connect it. You can connect your earbuds, but if they don't have a microphone, I also suggest turning off the microphone because otherwise viewers will hear every tapping sound really loud. Then if you have a microphone connected to your earbud, then you turn on the mic in your app and you tape one of the earbuds to the microphone right here and you just put in the other one and then you just listen to your game and your music and your stream will also hear your game, your music and your voice because the microphone is picking it up and that's the best option. And this is actually everything that you need to stream your games because right now, as you see, I'm recording, but if I would not be recording, I would be able to go live right here and then you will just go live and that will be it. Just like I'm recording right now, you will just be able to do whatever on your device and it will be casted to Twitch or YouTube or Facebook whatever you're connected to. So let's go back to the app and then let's just go back because I was going to show you how to record, right? So let's click on the cross icon on the top right and then on the bottom, let's click on the plus icon again, then click on record and right here, just like with streaming, it's really simple. You can just choose record and then you will be able to start recording. Of course, I'm recording right now. I don't see the options, but it's just as simple as that. And when you're done recording and you go back, you can just go to your pictures. So where is it actually on iOS? I'm an Android user. 
or right here, photos on the top. You can go to photos and then you can just click on albums right here at the bottom. And then you will be able to see recents. And there, what's this? These are all my failed TikTok attempts. This is really embarrassing. So there your recording, as you see on the bottom, I did some test recordings. There all your recordings will appear. Okay, let's remove this earbud. So right now I have something important to say. Using Omelette Arcade is great to get into streaming, but if you're actually taking like streaming a bit seriously, you really want to use your computer together with your device to stream. So you can add your own alerts, your own overlays, you can manage your stream on the PC, etc. If that's something you want to do, I have tutorials on that. Right now, I only have an Android tutorial, which I will show right here. I will show the thumbnail. I will also link it in the description. But one of the next videos I'm going to make is an iOS streaming tutorial. And in that video, I will show you how you can show your device on your computer and then stream that to any platform, add alerts, manage your stream, etc. Take it really professional. So if you want to see that, subscribe to the video. And if you're watching this video in the future, there's a big chance that the tutorial will already be on my channel. So then I will also link it in the description and in the course. Yeah right there in the cards right there so you can check out that one if you want to take your mobile streaming a bit more serious my face is probably completely red after recording this video because it's really hot in here but i just want to say if you want to see me streaming on twitch i stream every monday wednesday and sometimes friday i stream games i talk with the people who are in the stream about live streaming i connect with people it's really amazing if you want to catch me live just go follow me on twitch i will put the link right here and also so in the description you can give me a follow and then you will get a notification the next time that i go live and by the way if you have any questions about this video or you want to connect with people who are also trying to grow a stream you can go to my discord the link is in the description it's full of beginning streamers and also some advanced streamers so you can ask your questions right there and i'm sure that there will be someone who will be able to help you thanks a lot for watching if youtube knows you a bit then these two videos will be of some interest to you so i hope they are and i will see you in one of these two thanks for watching and i'll see you next time